everyone it's Ricardo and I'm back here on the watch with us channel with a review of the Alsta Nato Scaf super automatic 50th anniversary watch now first I just want to say thank you to watch gauge for getting this watch out to us and with that being said I'd like to dive into pun intended a little bit of a history on the brand now the brand currently is called Alsta and this was a revival of a brand that was very popular in the 60s and 70s. And that brand actually was called the Allstata Watch Company, which was actually based here in New York. And the watch that we have here, the Nadoscaf, actually became quite popular um, with its appearance in the quite popular 1975 movie Jaws in which the character played by Richard Dreyfuss which is an oceanographer is actually wearing the watch throughout the movie so what the brand did was first they decided to make a a a you could say a regular version of this watch what they call the Jaws version of this watch um, in t early 2020 and that was released and this year what the brand decided to do was they then decided to make a 50th anniversary release to mark the 50th year since this specific model was created and they did some special things with this watch to celebrate that anniversary so with that being said, let's jump into the specs and a little bit more in regards to this watch. Now, when the 2020 version of this watch came out, uh, it definitely turned some heads in the watch community because it, of course, has this very vintage looking style. But one of the things that uh, many collectors um, kind of pawned about was just the fact that within this watch, you had a Seiko NH35A movement. And when many collectors compared that to the price of the watch, they, they definitely were kind of taken aback and they felt that the value just wasn't there on the watch. So it's interesting that now we have this 50th anniversary, which though it shares many of the same specs as the watch, there are some big differences. But first let's go over those specs. Now the watch comes in at 38 millimeters. You have a lug width of 20 millimeters. You have a lug to lug measured from here to there of 43 millimeters. Thickness on the watch, it is, of course, a vintage, nice, chunky diver, is 15.1 millimeters. You have this beautiful domed, slightly domed sapphire crystal. The crown is, as you can tell, that signed. The case on the top edge, edges, so top parts of the lug, are brushed while on the sides you have a polished high polishing now if you go here to the bracelet as I said you have a 20 millimeter lug width which kind of tapers down to about 18 here but then comes back up just a little bit here at the class to 19 millimeters of course here on the class you have that shark representing jaws if you go now to the case back you have that same shark and you have the limited edition information on this watch as you can see that case back is quite high polished Let's see if we could get in a little bit closer so you could read the text. Okay, there we go. So, it's, of course, it says Nautoscaf, Super Automatic, 
special edition number five. And now this special edition is made in a total of a hundred pieces. You have, of course, some information around that back side, amount of jewels, water resistance, which comes in at 300 meters, but is labeled as 999 feet here on the front of the watch. In terms of text, you have Alsta right there at 12 for the brand, super automatic, shock resistant, certified to 999 feet. You have a date window here, which is black on white print. That beautiful gilt dial, as you can tell by the gold minute markers. You also have these beautifully polished gold hands. You have a 120 click bezel, which is, has a nice, strong feel to it. Nice and tight, beautiful clicks. Now the watch is, of course, as I mentioned, 999 feet of water resistance, which is aided by the screw down crown. When I unscrew that, first position is hand winding of the SW200 movement within. Second position is, of course, the changing of the date, which we see there. Then you get hacking, at which point you could change the time. Loom on this watch is C3 Superluminova. If you go back to the clasp, you get actually four micro adjustment spots here, right at the clasp. A little bit more of that beautiful gilt dial and the gold numerals on the bezel. If you look closely on the bezel, not only do you have the timing numerals, but you also have right beneath them the hour numerals. So you could use this as a poor man's GMT if you wanted. Now that covers it for the specs on the watch. Let's now go into my thoughts and pricing on this 50th anniversary piece. Now I've been lucky enough to have the Alsta here with me for about, I'd say about a week. And I've had a chance to wear it and you know, just take it out for a spin. And I have to say, it definitely has that nice old vintage vibe to it. Um, those nice older chunky divers we know from the 60s and the 70s. Uh, it's a really nice watch and it does a really good job of really having that older vintage look to it from the cushion case, the Hooper styled bracelet here. The simple clasp you get here. Uh, bracelet is a pin and collar system, as you can tell by the arrows here. Really nice old vintage style to it. Now, in terms of things I love, as I've stated, I really like the vintage aesthetics. Um, even with that thickness, that's 15.1 thickness that many of us are familiar with when it comes to chronographs. Um, on a nice older styled diver, it really, really just completes the package. Um, love the firm bezel on this. I mean, it's definitely not going anywhere. And that very, uh, that beautiful sounding click. A 
love also the domed sapphire on this piece. I love the fact that it's not that, you know, super double dome, um, adding three or four um, millimeters of thickness to it. I like that it's subtle, um, but it still adds that nice effect to the dial, that kind of deep, deep look to the dial. Now, in terms of things that I don't like about this watch, really I'd have to say, um, especially when you think about you know, the price of admission on this, um, which I'm going to mention later, I felt that some of the case work um, could have been more sharper. So I'm looking here at some of these edges. I wish they were more defined. I mean, overall, the look um, on the wrist is still nice. Mentioning look on the wrist, let's pop this on my seven and a quarter inch wrist so you guys can take a look at how this watch wears. And really, I mean, that 38 millimeter, that short lug to lug really looks nice on the wrist. Yes, it's a thick big boy, but still, it just it still looks nice. But overall, um, actually, before I go to overall, I want to give you guys that price of admission for this watch, which comes in at two thousand and ninety dollars. Now, of course, um, if you know anything about watches, you know that there are quite a few competitors in that price range, especially when it comes to divers. But what I appreciate about this is this isn't really copying anything else out there. Um, it's a unique look. It's a unique kind of style. Um, and they definitely took a step forward in terms of what they're giving you. So as I stated earlier, many people complained about the movement in the previous piece, but this one has a nice Swiss made movement for those who really are looking for that in their watches. Um, the overall gilt effect is really nice on this, especially um, in the sunlight. I mean, overall, the watch is, yes, it is a specific aesthetic, but if you're looking for that aesthetic, um, and you just want something that comes off as a very well-made watch, um, this may be what the watch for you. Um, I would definitely suggest you take a look at it, uh, see what the watch has to offer, and you know, see if it's for you. It is a nice little bonus as well that this is only going to be limited to 100 pieces. So it's going to be definitely that unique piece in any person's collection. Uh, that you know, chances are you're not going to see a lot of people walk around with it. But that completes it for my review of the Alsta Natoscaf 50th Anniversary, the Natoscaf Super Automatic. Hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I'll be seeing you next week with the next review on the channel. If you don't already follow us, definitely hop onto Instagram, follow us at Watch With Us channel, click that subscribe button right down there in this corner, should be right over there. Um, definitely trying to do some more content, get some more videos up for you guys, and get some reviews of some watches that you know, you're know you not really used to seeing out there. Um, but I'm glad you were able to tune in this week. and. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.